What's going on guys and welcome to Foundry, a new factory game that has been on my radar since early 2021 as soon as I saw the trailer and I was like this kind of looks like my cup of tea. I'm not gonna lie it looks like my cup of tea and it's basically a factory game we do like a normal logistics we start out power grades we start out of uh, machines we do multiple different recipes and yeah it's basically in a blocked world very much like minecraft as you can see right here and it takes me back to my feed the beast and like techie kind of early minecraft days of what got me into the 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 enjoyment of playing factory games so let's get into this and start a brand new world so we're going to start a brand new game and we do get to put a seed generator in here so let's put in 69 for 20 because it won't let me put letters in there okay so let's just go with that and if you want to play along type that in and yeah bob is your uncle so welcome to foundry within this information database you will find detailed explanation on how to create a thriving space factory we know how to do this Ooh, okay so this is our world this is what we've got we can see multiple biomes we have a bit of like elevation up here as well uh, oh what's this so this What's this? Hello? Oh, that is Xenoferrite. And we actually need to get 150 of this. So we're getting, what, like 35 per each of these chunks? All right, so make sure that one give me 25. Okay, so that's that. And I need to find Technum or, well, basically Blue Ore. Do we have a map? <gasps> we do have a map. There we go. Blue Ore. I like how this... Oh, wait, I can create waypoints. So I can just call, and call it Technum. And then give it a blue waypoint and then bomb and then there it is so we need to grab 150 of this and then i'm gonna guess it's gonna give us another quest it's gonna give kind of keep us in like the basic tutorial which we are gonna do we've never played before so uh we do obviously understand the basics of uh i wouldn't say basics i would say more advanced in factory games so we need to mine 20 biomass from vegetation oh god biomass is here biomass as well God damn it. Okay, and now we need to craft a primitive furnace. Um, How do we craft a primitive furnace? Oh, Q is to craft. Ah, okay. So this is a very factorial style menu. I'm going to guess this is a work in progress because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the UI. It's too blocky and I, I do feel like a lot of this stuff is very much placeholder stuff. So we do need to make a primitive furnace. I mean, see in the bottom left hand corner now. That it is queued up. So, again, very much like Factorio, which we love anyway. And now, where is it? Oh, it's here in our inventory. So, I right-click on this and I can place it. Ah. Craft 40... Zero f Whoa, okay. So, we have, we do have this screen. I was interested in, in this. So, we got plates. Because I saw this in the trailer and I was like, I wonder if this is on, like, everything. I kind of like how it's very... Not in the UI kind of thing. That's kind of like that. Missing fuel. Wait, can I just... I did, right? That went in there. Output content is that. Manage... Oh, we're going to put the... The fuel into there. Because obviously, biomass until we start getting electrical. But we're making plates, at least. We're making plates. But we need to make 40 of them. And then we need to make 20 Technum rods. Do you know something? I'm just kind of stood here while I'm making these rods. And I'm like, look how pretty them clouds look. They look really nice. They look better than real life, to be honest. Saying that, though, it is sunset. Uh, but you're going to have to apologize. Well, I'm going to have to apologize in advance because it is going to go, like, through these videos. Because they have no control of the day and night cycle. Uh, it is going to go pretty, like time jumpy if you know what i mean so it might go to night time to sun like sunset and all this kind of stuff so oh my god it's getting pretty dark isn't it oh boy oh boy oh boy well but they're done can i grab them oh my god it is super dark do i have a torch l oh i do um so we need 20 building blocks that's an assembler building blocks here we go so i can just build 20 of these Wait, I have only got, I've only got eight. Wait, so you tell... Wait, no, we got them. Wait, wait, how many do we... Oh my God, what have I done? Oh, for every one you get five. Oh, I've just built more than 20. Anyway, we got 40 building blocks. 
Place 20 building blocks. I've got to drag these into here, right? And then select that with my... Oh, this automatically come up. Building parts and energy. Most machinery, example, drone miners, assemblers, need to be placed on a foundation made from building parts to function. Building parts supply connected machinery with power. Cool. So the foundations actually provide power. So what I want to do is... Our technums here. Where's that other one we have? Uh, where is it? I can't see. It's too dark. Here it is. So let's just kind of place our foundation near this. I guess. Let's kind of just go on this level. And place these blocks. Like this so it gives me a grid system and i like how we can like zoop it it's kind of cool so we've got more than what we need to there uh, i craft a drone miner so that's a drone miner and i need xenoferrite plates and machinery parts so i just basically need to grab more supplies and how do i make machinery parts uh components machinery parts is just xenoferrite plates okay so we are going to be able to automate all of this and i'm going to presume as well because uh, you can see there, you can see where it's the electronic components is orange. I'm guessing we can make them now. It's just that we don't have them in our inventory. Very much like Factorio does. Uh, you know how when you've got something you, in your, you know, the you have the core components for it. It will still make it by hand uh, if I was to select it. It's just that it will, I don't have it there. That's why it's orange and not green. Do you know something? I don't actually know if there's any enemies in the game. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I could be just doing this. Next thing I know, I'm getting jumped on by, I don't know, some form of alien. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of stood here for, like, a whole day cycle. Literally, it's just gone back nighttime now. And I've managed to get all my ore that I collected all uh, made into plates and made into rods. This is the last piece now. Uh, and the, the cool thing I like about this is, like, I can literally just click this up arrow here and it just automatically puts into my inventory right so now i've got the drone i like how when you place these down it tells you the panel here and then also that's that blue thing there is that where the drones are going to go up to instant mode drone miner select or switch to hotkey to cancel 50 mineable ore blocks in range oh oh god wait it's limited ore oh bugger 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 so what 50 blocks in range so that must go pretty deep I would say maybe about four blocks deep. Five, maybe. Um, okay, so we've got no power. So we need to craft a biomass generator. So we've got that. So if I just click that, it's just going to automatically build it. So we can, yeah, it's like, like I said, very much like Forktorio. It's making the pits we don't have as well. And then we can just place this down. I think I might need to go and get some bio, more biomass, though. Place that down there. And... Drop. I think I don't... Can I take it out of here? Manage inventory. So I've got five. But let's just put that five into there. Uh, can I just click the down arrow on that? I can. Okay. We've got power. Cool. This has got power now. Nice. Look at these on Oh! Hello! <laughs> Friends! Oh, they actually are. So how much have you got in there? Toggle flashlight. Toggle tablet. Tablet. Analyzer, point, wait, point at terrain, vegetation and structure. Drone miner, biomass generator. Oh, there is 900. And oh, that's going down pretty fast. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of ore, but well, I guess we'll have to wait until... I wonder if the world is unlimited. I would think so. It's seed-based, right? Maybe. I hope so, because, you know, we're going to run out of ore otherwise. So now that's going into there. So that means that's storing in there. So we need to create a, craft a smelter, craft a, two loaders, and craft 20 conveyor belts. So we need a smelter, which is that one. Uh, we need to craft two loaders, which is them. And we need to craft 20 conveyors. Uh, so you get two conveyors. Let's just do 10 of them. Can I just, can I, wait, if I right click, I do, okay, 10. Let's extend the foundation a little bit. I kind of like this whole snapping kind of thing. This is really, really nice. Uh, I've got 20 pieces left. Let's bring it this way a little bit. Um, let's go along there and then just push. And then that should be 10 on each side. Nice. 
Uh, so now also we've got the smelter. Holy baloney. Hi. You're a big boy. Uh, let's put you down there. This has got a panel as well. Configure smelter. Um, okay, so we can get this all automated. So let's get the plates going first, I'm guessing. And then we need to do a loader. So I'm going to guess uh, the loader is actually... Uh, machine, loader, belt, loader, machine. Okay, so the loader is basically something that puts goes onto the machine. So if we was to put that basically here... Right, we put that there. Do you know what would be easier bits just to make things simpler for you is if we just remove this and then we place this down on this side so you're not jumping all the time. Eh, well, I'm... God damn it. I say that and I'm going to really jump up here. Oh my God, what is going on? Brought it. Oh my god. Would be for me to place this on this side. Would be so much easier. And then I can just grab myself the other loader. Put you there. So wait, your blue, your... Wait, output. Output, conveyor, intake. Wait, toggle? Ah, cool. Okay. So now I need to put the belts down. Wait, I made conveyor... Oh my god, I made conveyor slopes and not conveyor belts. You spoon bits, you bloody spoon. And now I've got to wait for this thing to do this again. God damn it. Well, I guess in the meantime, we'll grab some more biomass. Because we only put five into that machine. I right, put 43 in there. And then with you, we're going to put the rest of what we got in there. So we got a full stack of 100 in there. So I've noticed the these plates actually stack up to 200. I'm going to guess because there was on like 100 and something before. And the rods maybe do the same. So we can shut this down here. Grid stats. Grid stats. Okay. Low voltage grid. So wait, if there's a low voltage grid, there must be a high voltage grid. Are you done yet? Because I need, I need more goddamn things. I need more conveyor belts. Wait, can I make belts now? I can. Right. Belts, not ramps. Well, I suppose they're there for when we need to go up a hill. And we are on a hill, I guess. So, I need to actually, as well, drag them onto there. I may as well drag them belts onto there. So, it saves me uh, going into my thing. And then we just put that into there and into there, right? Is that it? Yield last minute. Okay, 32. So, 32 a minute. 36. I'll leave that to run because that seems to be going up. But now we need to build a research lab. So we need this. We need 40 xenoferrite plates and 20 machinery parts. Uh, research lab. Research unlocks high voltage energy and science packs. Total construction cost is 200 plates, 100 machinery parts, and 100 coil. Jesus. So now I've just got to wait for this to be done. And unless I duplicate what we have here at the Technum to get the plate, the, the rods being done. I suppose we could do that in the meantime. Um, okay, so I've, I've done something. I was playing around just trying to like grab like a thumbnail or something. But look at this. I can leave my body. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> but yeah. Welcome to the video, and if you're enjoying it, please remember to like and subscribe. I can't turn around because for some reason I can only fit... What is that foliage in the distance? Over there. Over there. It's like all glowing and stuff. I can do some weird cinematics. You can just kind of see me running along. <laughs> Wait, I'm constantly moving. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Hello! Stop! Come back! Come back! Oh, boy. That was bloody frightening. Wait, I want to know what them trees were, though. They look kind of cool. It looked like some bioluminescence, or is it just a rendering issue? Okay, hopefully that is enough room. Uh, I don't think... I think I'm just going to put stuff in it manually for now. Bloody hell, that's huge. It's huge. I'm kind of one out here. Um, There we go. 
And then grab you this way. And then zoopy doopy doop. Down this side. Oh, the tree's in the way. Okay, so there's some form of collision. Noted. Be gone, foliage. Be gone. Okay, so now for me to build this, I've just got to put in the required... Wait, where's the... Wait. Oh, the computer's over there. Um, okay, so I just need to put in 200 plates, 100 machinery parts, and 100 wire. 100 wire, which, if I shift right click, I actually do a stack of 100, which is not bad. And then can I... I think I'm running out of stuff. It's the plates I need. Wait, I can actually turn day and night cycle off. I might do that just for your viewing pleasure. Otherwise, we're going to be skipping time like you've already seen. Like, it's daytime, nighttime, nighttime, daytime, you know? So, yeah, we're going to keep that off. And I may as well do that every time I do it. So, now it's going to be daytime all the time. Cool. Right, so have we got enough now? Bam. Oh, no, I don't have 100 machinery parts. Wait. Didn't I build machinery parts? Oh, I built electronic components. I need machinery parts. Machi oh, I need... Okay, let me do... 100 of them then well i guess by the power of editing you can wait this 90 parts i need to make right i'm just gonna stay here i'm not even gonna move the camera and then when i do skip you won't even know it's done did you notice it happen without looking at the time up in the top corner mm. did you notice the transition bam finished construction boom diddy boom boom high voltage power advanced high uh, advanced energy producing machinery generates high voltage power hvp which is transported by power poles and cables to convert hvp or high voltage power to low voltage power which is distributed through building parts a transformer needs to be placed on the according building parts and connected to a hvp via a power cable Cool. Transformers have a maximum transmission rate. Sometimes multiple transformers might be necessary depending on the amount of power consuming machinery. Cool. Okay, so we we what does that is what is that? It's like some form of a thing here. You see this? High voltage power producer. I don't know if, what that is. I think that might be a solar panel, but it's a flat solar solar panel. That goes into a power pole, then it goes into a transformer, and then the transformer goes onto the foundation that we are building on, and then yeah. Machines go choo-choo. No, that's a train. So, new technologies are locked. High voltage power and science packs. That means we can start automating science packs, which is pretty sweet. So, let's start putting down, I, I guess, a, uh, a a little bit of a grid so we can put a little bit of power down. Right? Oh, it's suddenly small, isn't it? I need more foundation pieces. I need more of you. Thank you very much. Then I can extend that like so. And then, it is a solar panel. I need xenoferrite plates, though. As bloody always. Yonk. And then I can build a solar panel. I've got some power poles and then a transformer. So let's build uh, two, three, four of them. Uh, let's build five power poles. I don't know if I'm going to need that money. And let's build one transformer. Let's science. Because science... I'm going to extend this out a little bit as well. Let's extend you out a little bit more. So I think we're going to need a bit more room because I don't know how big these... Uh, can I jump there, please? Hello? So I don't know how big these solar panels are going to be. So solar panels, let's put you on my hot bar. And let's put the power poles on my hot bar as well. Okay. Oh, they're not that big. That's not bad. So let's kind of put these together. Together, like so. Um, like this, right? They've got a little screen in them as well. And then I need a power pole, which I guess can um, go here. And we'll do one for the back ones as well. Wait, do I need to make cable? Wire coil? Is that? Do I need this? Do I need you? No. Wait, do I have... Can I build cable? Power line. There we go. Oh, that just needs wire coils. Okay. At least we've got spare ones of them. Right, so let's put them into our in, uh, in our hot bar. And power you to you. 
you... No, 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 no. Delete that. Wait, how do I delete? Can I not just delete that cable? Wait, do I have to delete the thing? Right, well, anyway, I've connected them up. I just need now to put this down, which is a uh, transformer. So we can just connect you. Wait, I need the wire, don't I? Connect you to you. Is that now a thing? Wait. Is that a thing? Are we out of biomass? We are out of biomass. These are running, so we are making power. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I've got daytime on, haven't I? Right. I guess I'll just disable. Oh, I suppose it's a bit cheaty, isn't it? Uh, guys, you let me know in the comments. All right. Let me know if you want me to put the day and night cycle on. All right. Because if I leave the daytime on, I'm constantly going to get power. And then I suppose, is there any form of, like, batteries? Maybe it's a research thing. Research into... Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is a lot of things. Battery, there. Yeah, so there's a battery. Yeah, so you guys let me know in the comments... If you want me to keep the day and night cycle on, uh, just for your viewing pleasure, like I said, or have it rotating. Uh, if you guys don't mind it, let me know in the comments. I might even do a poll in the community tab. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. If not, just leave a comment. I'll put a comment down there. Just comment on that one. Okay? Deal? Done? Van Dabby Dozy. Bob's your uncle. Van is your aunt. So the way this would work then would be the sun angle is currently at 26 degrees, which is over there. And then the higher the angle goes, the more power I'm going to get, right? So valid angle is 15 degrees to 165 degrees, which is when it goes sunset. And then the maximum output is 151. The current output is only 27 because of the angle. Okay, right. I've just disabled it and it's put us straight to nighttime. But I guess we'll start to see the start of day. So I will be back with you when... The sun rises. Right? Yeah. We can watch the view together. It might be romantic. Who knows? <laughs> right. So now as we can see... The sun angle is actually raising, and we're getting now 265 kilowatts, which is not bad. Let's have a look at the grid. We can see the height. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. So we can see what's on the high voltage. And then the oh. Okay, cool, cool. Thumbs up from me. Well done. So we, there's obviously no batteries connected here. So the solar panels are, yeah, creating this, and then it's outputting that, and it's only needs 7 kilowatts. Interesting. Okay, so we're only outputting 2 kilowatts per second right now. And there we go. We now have the iron little plant. We have this plate little plant, and that is going to be it. So make sure you check out my other content right here. If you like Satisfactory, or if you like Hydronia, check out these videos right here. And remember, if you want to see more, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe so I can see that you guys are wanting it. Okay? But anyway, much love, and as always, keep smiling.